just that shirt, it makes you feel <laughs> ready to go again. Do you know what I mean? Let me get my boots on. Where, where's Vieira? All right. <laughs> Elsie, how you doing, man? All right, mate. Good okay. to see you. All right. Thanks for coming down. Honestly, you're like nice. one of the most requested guests for the show, so All I right. really appreciate you coming down. So nice. welcome to What I Wore. So basically what we've done, we've got a collection of shirts to kind of tell your life story. So I'm going to start with you growing up right until your last game. Yeah. Yep. So obviously I want to start youth team. You guys are probably the most famous youth team ever. <laughs> yeah. What was it like putting on this shirt for the first time? And like, was like, was a United fan, so was like some of your heroes wearing this shirt and being yeah. able to play in this, what was this like for the first time? Well, this, to be honest with you, that one probably fit me better than this <laughs> one does. Um, yeah, look, that, it was special, wasn't it? When you think of, I always remember Brian Robson and, and Mark Hughes, them type of people in this shirt, and just to be able to, so just, just to pull that on and not just as a fan, mm -hmm. do you know what I mean? Yeah. To actually play a game in it with the little white <laughs> shorts as well, I remember them as well, the tiny shorts, but, yeah, special memories. Youth team, obviously. I, I didn't win the Youth Cup. Um, the lads the year before yeah. did. I, I was. We got beat by Leeds, I think, in the wow. final. But look, we had a special team, didn't we? And it was special, special honour to wear that shirt. Now, so obviously FA Cup against these guys. Oh, FA Cup. Yeah. What was that? What was that like? That first proper senior silverware, like, and that you was really yeah. involved in. Yeah, did, did, when you look at that, you just think of the, the white suits, the Liverpool players, <laughs> that's, that's all I can think of, honestly, seeing them before the game. and Look, it, it was a terrible game of football, really. We, we knew Liverpool were a really good football team, John Barnes, Jamie Redknapp, Robbie Fowler, sure. Macca, Steve McManaman, some great footballers, but we, 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 look, you always feel you win, of course you are, but we didn't play well, Liverpool didn't play well. And it was down to Eric and uh, late on to, to win us the game. OK, I want to talk about this era of, of football, right, so like the 90s era, like the nineties was like a boom time, especially like in Manchester, like culture was booming, Oasis yeah. was coming out. And it, just like the shirt designs was like, it's like very like trendy and stuff. What was it like, like coming into like almost stardom, you know, indie shirts, like, was it like hard to stay grounded? Like, what was that feeling like? Of <laughs> I just, don't, like, being I don't know about stardom, was, we were just, do you know what, I, I was speaking about this the other day, like you said, there was, there was a music scene, the football team, obviously Manchester United was doing great. And I think once you're in it, you don't really realise what you're a part of. Right. Until exactly. probably times like now when you, you look back on your career. And it was just a great place to be. Um, as I said, we had the music, unbelievable successful football team. And we just tried to carry that on because, as I mentioned players before, like the great players that this team had, who had to win the league right. from having like not won it for 28, 30 years. So the pressure was really on them. It was then up to us to, to really carry this on and all these kits bring back a few <laughs> memories, memories, yeah. Do you prepare throughout the season, right, to, to get the trophies? But talk to me about the treble week, right? So you wrap up the league against Tottenham, like, what was those those games like? How much stress was you under wearing that shirt? Like, just talk to me through, like, it, it, what, it was going stress. Through. Stress is the wrong word. It, it was an excitement. Oh, okay. You know, we had, we had three games in 10 days. Did we have three games in a week? No, 10 days, I think it was. You know, to win the league, to win the FA Cup, and then to go and to go and win the Champions League. But I remember the first one against Tottenham. I, I had so many chances in that first game. Honestly, I, I missed about five, six chances. I remember I got a right rollicking from the manager oh, at really time. No. <laughs> I'd, missed, I'd missed so many chances. But Tottenham actually went ahead in the game, and David Beckham scored. Obviously, like that whip kind that, of oh, great yeah, goal. Yeah, yeah. yeah, brilliant goal past Ian Walker. Uh, that's just my memory of that game. I don't really like looking at the shirts. I missed that many chances. And I'm like, I'm not trying to chance. Sit, absolute sitters as well. And so I was worried. I thought, Jesus, I'm, I'm going to cost us it. Yeah. But anyway, I ended up winning the game through, through Andy Cole. For sure. And then we got FA Cup now. FA Cup final, yeah. Look, no disrespect to Newcastle. We knew they were a good team, some really good players, but we always felt we could beat them. OK, so we wrap those two up. Nice. And then we have to go into Europe. So before we get to the final, right, and the semi-final, how important was this run against like the two Italian giants? But also, do you notice that the, the kit change, right? Was that a, was that a big yeah. thing at that time? It was like, weird. Yeah. Really weird. Like. It, it was straight. It, look, it didn't make any difference to us, but we had a different kit for Europe, didn't we? Then we did for the, yeah. for the league. Which, why, why, how, how did that come know. about? I have no idea. I've, <laughs> have they done it since? I don't know. Has it still happened? I've never really noticed, <laughs> yeah. but yeah, that year, for some reason, what shirt did you prefer? Good, good memories in both of them, man. Mm. 
I like this one because it's got the zip. Yeah, I like, yeah, probably. I, do, I like both of them. I'm sorry, I can't decide. <laughs> they both. I can't decide. So when I go to the semi-final against like Juve, like obviously this guy as well. Like, oh, oh god! How how important was this game? Well, it was a massive game, wasn't it? And this is iconic shirt, and it looked Juventus, that black and white. <laughs> yeah. just, I just love him. And Zidane, phew, what a player! But that that team, that Juventus team, the run we had to get yeah, to that yeah, final yeah. was ridiculous. The, the Inter Milan team, this team. I think even the group stages, we had some like Bayern Munich and yeah, we had Barcelona yeah, as well. Yeah, for sure. But that's what I'm saying. Like, when, you, the, when you think about like, the what teams you, the adversity yeah, <laughs> to go through the, the this team. <laughs> But you know what, sometimes that's, that, that, it's a good thing it maybe concentrates your mind a bit more, sure. but they, they weren't just Zidane. I think that team, I think of Edgar Davies, the yeah. Champs, the centre-halves were brilliant. Boxic, was he in that team as well? I want to know, like you personally, right? You've played throughout the season. You get the yellow card. Like, my head would have been gone. <laughs> like we would have lost the game. <laughs> so how did you like rally yourself to get on with the game and just <sighs> just carry on and get your guys over the line? Because you and and working like yeah. Look, it's football. Roy was a big loss of me. Um, it's it's football, isn't it? Um, I made a mistake. Well, I say I made a mistake. It wasn't even a bad tackle. Mm. It was Deschamps. <laughs> Unless I can hear Deschamps now in one of these shirts, I can hear him screaming on the floor now, <laughs> trying to get me booked. And that's what that's what European players. They were clever. Yeah, yeah. That, 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 that's that, that's what they did. And it was my own fault. It wasn't it wasn't a bad tackle. And look, you're disappointed. You know straight away. Yeah. And you're sad. You're upset. Of course you are. That you you're not going to be able to be part of a selection for for the, the biggest game yeah, of our yeah. lives. And. Look, you just deal with it, you get on with it. There's, there's plenty of other players that are, that are there to play and hopefully go on and win it, and we did. Yeah, you did, yeah. And I want to know how it feels, right? We all know what happened, like the, the drama, the late drama, but how does it feel when you're watching from the sidelines? Like, are you more nervous because you can't contribute? Like, um, do you feel like you're still a part of it, even though you've like done no, so much for the team? You, don't, don't, you feel... don't feel a part of it one bit. Really? Um, some people say that that's straining, you should feel a part because you pay, played a bit of a part to, to get there. I don't know how many games, 15, 16 games or something to get where you were. But you understand you, you've got no control of it. You, there's, there's nothing you can do to influence that game of football. And, but you don't feel a part of it. I know we went on the game, on the pitch after the yeah, game. and There's an iconic picture embarrassed. of you guys. Yeah. Like, how did that feel? Like, when... It's embarrassing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly. Uh, then we have to, I have I to bring it that shirt. Yeah, but, but I have to bring it out because you scored one of the best goals yeah. ever against these guys. Like You're just yeah. you're just taking a mick. That's what I look at. Like, like, you're just taking a mick. Like, what makes you even try that? Like, I just, it, when you, know you wear the shirt, you're just so confident that you just think, I can do anything. Yeah, I suppose so, yeah. I, I didn't like the shirt, though, to be yeah, honest. No, it's the shirt, a funny material, it's isn't it? It's horrible, like, yeah. It's yeah, horrible, it's horrible yeah. yeah. It was really nice. <laughs> it was massive. It was a bit like this one. <laughs> I felt like I just couldn't even move <laughs> it. I couldn't run it. We had these big white shell, shell suit shorts. Like, it was shocking, it was horrendous. But I actually scored two really good goals mm. in this one. I scored one at Middlesbrough away as well. Right. But the one Bradford, obviously, the one that was remembered for, um, we never ever worked on it. Are you, no, you're lying. No, no, I swear to God, we nev never ever lying. practiced it. You just, so Beckham just, just saw you? No, I, I said to him on the way, I said, Bex, just have a look at the edge of the box. <laughs> Honestly, so we, we'd had a few corners before, and I knew it was free. So if you actually see it again, I walk towards the halfway line as if I'm not even bothered. Mm -hmm. And I see Bex just have a little corner out of his, uh, have a look out the corner of his eye. I thought, right, he's, mm, gonna do he, it. he's gonna do it. So I just crept up, crept up, crept up. He did it and as you say, I smashed it in. I actually Luckily enough. smashed it in. <laughs> no, actually, I thought I was going to win goal of the season, but it didn't happen. <laughs> Honestly, do you know what won goal of the season? The Go day on. after. It was the day after Paolo Di Canio. Oh, is the scissor yeah. kick? The scissor kick was exactly the, the day after. It was that same weekend I was devastated. Oh, you've had so much success, right? But then Arsenal start to come about, Chelsea start to come about. This era here of like Arsenal, what was it like playing against, playing against like these guys? Oh, it was, it was tough. And how different was this Arsenal in this shirt, with the O2 and that, different yeah. from the team that you played like in, in, the, in, the, in the late 90s? They, they weren't that much different, to be fair. They were still, look, the late 90s, they were a brilliant team. Yeah. But again, just that shirt, it makes you feel <laughs> ready to go again. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Let me get my boots on, Where, where's Vieira? <laughs> um, they always made it difficult for you. And look, they were a great team. This is your favourite shirt. Yes, right? it was uh, my favourite kit. Right? Let's talk about this. Why, why, why this one? Just like it. I, I, I like the bit of gold on it. Because I'm not gonna lie, when I first saw the AIG, I was like, nah, United are done. But 
you guys. Why? It, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> What's wrong with that? <laughs> I don't know. I just know. But then, like, you guys just turn it around, and the, and I think this is like my favorite United kit now because of like. Well, that was a new team again, wasn't it? That's what I'm saying. Yeah, that, yeah, that, yeah, that, yeah. That was probably start of the new team playing. With, I just, I just felt good in it. I, I thought it was the kit. You know, I was just playing well, really. <laughs> yeah, it didn't yeah, matter yeah. which kit, it could be any right, kit. Right, right. Um, Do you think that part of the reason why you liked it so much? Because you just felt yeah. it was like a new kind of I, I was probably in the, well, what year was this? I was probably around the peak of my... 2006, yeah. seven. Yeah, so I was probably in the peak of my career at this mm. time, you know, energy-wise, fitness-wise, okay. and I, I just felt good in it. I, was, I think I was playing centre midfield with Michael Carrick most of the season. And this is when we had the likes of Cristiano coming to the team, Wayne Rooney, Tevez. Right. We, it was a team, another team that was built again to go on and to win trophies, and it was an exciting team to be a part of. We're going to move on here, right? So Yeah, I'll leave we'll, that City one and Liverpool yeah, one, yeah. We'll yeah. Get <laughs> leave that yeah. <laughs> But then the next year, this shirt. Yeah, right? it's not a great shirt, is it? And you don't, you're, not, you're not liking the shirt now? Uh, nah. But this is the shirt where... Mess kick. <laughs> I remember that shirt. <laughs> One of them passed it to me. I can't remember. Was it, was it Melito? I can't remember. What, his... Yeah, what was no, that? Was it Zambrotta? Was it what Zambrotta? was that game like, man? This hard, shirt. Hard, the, hard. game. Two of the hardest games I've ever had in my life. That the both legs? Both legs, yeah. What was it about that was hard about them? Is it the, we the, way the best team? Yeah. Oh, the, the team were ridiculous. <laughs> As a midfield player, to play against that is no fun. Trust me, to play just chasing them round. Yeah. That's all I saw, actually, was the back of that. <laughs> For 180 minutes, apart from one kick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, so you, you get through, then it's like an all English final. Yeah. So I would say this is my favourite Champions League final. Uh, people always talk about I was going to say shirt. Sure. <laughs> What's going on here? It's my favourite Champions League final because I felt it was like two top teams yeah. going at it, like probably the two best teams in the world going at it. Yeah. What was this game like? Yeah, it was hard. It was, it was a tough game again, wasn't it? Because we knew, we knew how good Chelsea were. Yeah. You know, you think of the quality they had right through. But to say that, we had some great players yeah, at that time. Have. And we should have won the game. Really. If, you, if you look back at the game, the chances we had. Caras, Tevez, Cristiano scored a, a fantastic header. It was always going to be a tight game. The front line part obviously scored a goal. Did he a drug burn, McAuley in midfield. I actually smashed my nose in that game. <laughs> um, but the, the one thing I always thought about this game, probably rightly or wrongly, was when you, when you look at the managers, I don't know why, I just looked at the managers and I just looked at Abraham Grant and I thought, how can he beat Sir Alex Ferguson? No, no I just, I just couldn't see how he could do it, and that's the wrong way to look at it. Cause it's obviously the, pit, the game's the players, playing on yeah. the uh, uh, on the pitch, and that was just the way I looked at that game. And thankfully, Edwin, obviously John Terry, you know, I can see him in that shirt slipping now. Unfortunately for him. Now I've got to talk about how you, '99, you said he wasn't a part of it. This one, how important was it to play in that final in this shirt? And was it like a full, full like? coming together like a... Yeah, look, look, it was great, great to play in a final, of course. Just, just to wear the badge, they say. Shirts are uh, irrelevant. That, that's the most important mm, thing, is the sure. badge. You came back here. Yeah. yeah. But what was it like? Why did you come back? What was it like putting on this shirt again? I know you've, like... Obviously, at, at this point, you're, you're an all-time great. Did, was you feeling nervous coming great. back? Like. Yeah, of course I was, yeah. yeah. Um, I, I'd been training for a while. I, I didn't... Coaching wasn't really for me at the time. I, I, I weren't really enjoying it. So I was with the under, under 23s. I just ended up training every day. I was fit. Felt felt really good. Um, there was a lot of problems in the first team midfield area around Christmas time. So I went to see the manager. I said, I, I fancy playing again. And he said, great. And, was yeah, he again, buzzing like to have you back? I think he was, yeah. <laughs> That's <laughs> yeah. what I asked him. Yeah, he seemed like he was. <laughs> um, and it, it, it felt a great idea at the time. And then, I actually get to the game and the kick-off and go, oh, what have we done, what am I doing? And I've, I've relaxed, I've got out of all this, I don't have to worry about other teams, other games. And But once you get going again, it, it, look, it, it, it was all right. Um, the first game was a City game, obviously, where I think I came on at 3-0 up and after 10 minutes, it's 3-2 and we're, we're panicking. Um, but no, I think I did a score a couple of games later, I think, against, against Bolton or Wigan, I can't remember. But yeah, again, I like that shirt as well. And then, at this time, right, obviously one, one thing that's interesting about your career, you've had so many different rivals like throughout in Europe and obviously domestically. Then like obviously City came, 
and you get this crazy like Aguero moment. Now so, I want to, I want to, does that still sting? Yeah, that's horrible. I can't believe you've done that to me. I was so, I was so sorry. I can't believe you've done that to me. <laughs> Honestly, I can't even watch that on the TV. I can't listen to that commentary. Really? Yeah. Uh, so I want to know, yeah, would you have like, if you guys had won that, because like, it was a tight lead, oh. almost like same points. Well, we, we went into the, it was a Sunderland game away. Yeah, yeah. We, we thought the league was gone. But the league was gone. City had to beat QPR at home. Yeah. That's not a problem. Yeah, for that, sure. That's going to happen. <laughs> yeah. And then we come off the pitch and the, the two, I think the two one down with two minutes to go <laughs> yeah. or something. And then I can't believe you pulled it out. So and I have to listen to it. I can't, I can't watch it. I can't <laughs> listen to it. But would you have, like, if you had won that league, right, would you have retired or would you have carried on still? No, I'd have carried on. You would have carried on? It was a mistake to carry on. Do you reckon? It was definitely a mistake because I remember two or three games into the next season. Was Couple, I was like 37. I was, I thought, what have I done? But, but you win. But you win. Because towards the end of that year, ended quite well for me. Sure, because then the next year, this shirt, I really like this shirt. Yeah. I like this one. Yeah. I like the, you like the one. My style, man. I, I don't, I don't really like many kits, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's all about the badge. Forget yeah. the kit. <laughs> but then, like you, you, this is the, your last, your last shirt in the United, your is last it? time in the right. United shirt. Didn't know you that. win the league. Obviously, Van Persie comes in. Van Persie, yeah. Yeah. You, you just think of Van Persie when you see that shirt. Yeah, yeah for sure. Yeah. You win the obviously the 20th league title as well, and obviously the same year, um, Sir Alex. Yeah, the retires as well. as well. What was it like for the wearing the shirt for the last time? Obviously, your last um, game against these guys as well, and you got a yellow card. Did I get a yellow card? Yeah. Oh, that's a shock. Isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, I, I was, for for I was tradition. Actually, yeah. yeah. I, was just, I think I was still in this game as well. <laughs> it, didn't, it didn't go great. I think we were winning 4 2. Maybe ended up, game ends up 5 1. Well, I've had a terrible career when you look back. That's some really shocking moments that everyone's to remember. But look, I'd say wearing any kit, it doesn't matter what it's like. Look, it's a nice ish kit. It wasn't my favourite kit, but. It's all about this. It's all about that, of course it is. It's all about that. So we're going to move quickly to England. Yes. You make your debut at Old Trafford against these guys. Yeah. South Africa, right? Wearing this shirt, I think. Um, Jesus, look at the size of that. Yeah. What's it like? Like, obviously, you're a United fan, right? So yeah. wearing the United badge, it's a massive thing. But what's it like playing for England, wearing like the three lines? Oh, Different it's... pressure, or is it like I, the same exciting I, I, feeling? I, I'd never call it pressure. Mm -hmm. It was just an excited feeling, as you said. That being good enough, I think it's probably a lot harder in them days to get an England squad. Because there's a lot more English players playing in England, I suppose. Oh. There weren't as many foreign players, you know what I mean, as there is now. But yeah, it's a, it's a massive honour to be. This is the actual one you're wearing, this is match one. Is that the actual yeah, one, is yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. That's the size of that one. <laughs> <You're> just... <laughs> <laughs> flying around, yeah. yeah. Um, it was special. Playing for England was not a different level to Manchester United, but it was you know, representing your country. It's such an iconic shirt, iconic country. Um, playing with so many great players again, it was. It was special to wear that. No, schools, I have to, you have to hold this shirt, right? Because in my group chat, we have this debate at least once a week. So I need to ask you, I need you to settle it right now. When I, when I think of you, I think of two other names, Lampard and Gerard. Oh, Who is the best? <laughs> you tell me. You can pick yourself. Uh, look, we're all different. <laughs> we're all different. Um, people, I to, I'm sick of it. I'm sick of hearing about this, guys. Look, the, there were two, uh, what I say, there were two brilliant players, mm. two unbelievable players. What a goal scorer. His goal scoring record from midfield is sensational. Stephen could do everything, um, absolutely everything, um, right throughout his career. He could score goals, he could defend, he could control the game. Frank was all about goals, mm. all about goals till he was, till he was 36, 37. Now, I probably changed a lot in my career for the first part of my career. I was all about goals, getting forward like Frank, and probably just sat back in. Um, as a controlling midfield player for the last, once I got to 30 really, for the last seven or eight years of my career, we'll all have different opinions and look, it, it doesn't matter. Um, it's a game of opinions, isn't it? It's a game of opinions, yeah, everyone's a bit different. I think most people will probably go for Gerard or, or Lampard than me, but <laughs> I'll get over it. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Last question, right? We're in a burning building and you have to save two shirts, right? So. One of the shirts is based on your best memory in a football shirt, yeah? And then the second shirt is based on how the kit looks, strictly style, stylish. Strictly style. So if you want to pick like that Arsenal uh, shirt, so for, I wouldn't, oh, no, I wouldn't. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, I'm not telling anyone. So I'm just saying, <laughs> we'll go for the first one, yeah? Your biggest, your best memory in a shirt. This one. FA Cup final. 
being part of an FA Cup scoring, final, scoring a goal, making a goal. Boom, best Boom. settled. Okay, Done. your most stylish kit. So we're going out, you want to look nice. What kit are you going with? <laughs> no, <laughs> no, I can honestly say I never want to look nice. <laughs> it didn't matter, it didn't matter. But my favourite kit was this one, as no, I told you before. I know you're not having it. You're not having it. No, no, no. AIG. I, I like, yeah, AIG. Yeah, Just, little gold. I like that. Yeah, I like it. I like the V now, but a fashion at the time as well. So, sure. yeah, that that, that yeah. was that was my other favourite one. Two solid choices, Paul. Thank you so much for coming. No we appreciate you. Thank you so Cheers. much. Cheers. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank Cheers, you. mate.